Hi, today we're going to be going over how to construct and plant an almond agaricus bed. Um, now it is mid-June here in Wisconsin and we are going to be planting our bed inside a greenhouse. Now it is not necessary to plant your bed in a greenhouse, however keep in mind that these are a rather warm weather loving mushroom and we live in a very cool climate up here so for us we just want to take advantage of any extra heat we can. Um, so apart from being a warm weather loving mushroom, um, it's also a compost loving mushroom. So the base of the bed is actually made um, with compost as opposed to, you know, any wood material. Now, it doesn't matter exactly what your compost is made of. You can either use a compost you've made yourself or you can buy a bagged compost and it doesn't really particularly have an effect. Um, you just want it to make sure that it's a finished compost. For the purposes of this video today, we're um, just going to use the reuse recycle method and we're using a compost that has been made of spent oysters bags um, with a straw base as well as spent shiitake blocks that have a sawdust base. Um, so again, no really specific parameters that you need for your compost. It just needs to be finished. So we're going to get started um, so you can go do this on your own. You'll want to have enough compost for a nine square foot area um, and about five inches depth in compost. Now with th those measurements, you'll be able to get two beds um, using a half of a bag per each bed. You're going to want to use finished compost and what we mean by that is either a bagged compost that you get um, at the store or if you have your own compost, you just want to make sure it's no longer working. So today we are actually going to border our beds. Now you do not have to border your beds with anything. Um, if you do choose to, you can use anything. You can use a raised bed with a two by four border. You can use spent shiitake logs. Um, today we're actually going to be using spent reishi blocks. Now the one thing that you might want to consider, why you might want to consider bordering your bed um, is so that you're able to keep track of exactly the area that you want to use as well as the depth. Um, so we know that each of these blocks is about five inches tall, so we know that we are going to want to fill the compost up to that point. Um, that all being said, you do not have to use a border for your bed, um, but for the reasons we just mentioned, it's nice and also it looks nice. So with almond thing, there's one thing you want to be aware of. Now, unlike a shiitake spawn or a wine cap spawn, um, almond agaricus does not like to be sheared. And what we mean by that is it just doesn't like to be crumbled up. So when planting this, you just want, you just want to be aware to try to break off egg size pieces and you're going to plant those egg size pieces as opposed to crumbling it up. 